What is going on guys? This is EJP3Games and welcome to episode number 12 of the Pokemon Red and Blue Randomized Nuzlocke Versus with my dude Jetpack Ahoy. How are you doing my man? I'm good man. That big 1-2. I'm ready to do this thing. Big 1-2. So it's been a little bit since we've recorded. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and lead off with a team recap here for you guys. That's a good idea. Uh, I'll go ahead and let you start. Alright, uh, first up on our side we've got Smeagol, the level 19 Graveler it looks like. Uh, he's rocking out with Tackle, Defense Curl, and Rock Throw. Next up we've got Clem, our level 25 Cloister, uh, with Twin Needle, Confusion, Clamp, and Aurora Beam. Then we've got Phoenix, our level 25 Moltres, with Peck, Firespin, Thundershock, and Spore. Uh, we've also got Cut here on the team, but he's not actually on the team. He's just our Cut slave because we don't have anybody that can learn it. So. And that, that Moltres is uh, definitely the MVP for your team. For sure, although Clem's making a good case for himself, yeah. the Cloister. Yeah, uh, you definitely, <laughs> definitely got that good fire and water thing going. Yeah, for sure. But I'll go ahead and start with my team recap. We have uh, Narwhal the Seal, the water type. He has the moves Headbutt, and that's it. That's all he can do is just Headbutt things. <laughs> then we've got Lava Boy, the Magmar fire type, with Ember and Hyper Fang. Next up we have Nappy the Ghastly, the Ghost Poison type. He's level 23. He's going to evolve today. He's going to get to, I believe, a Haunter at 25. Mm -hmm. So he has Lick, Confuse, and Nightshade, and I think really that's about all he's going to learn um, for a while until he maybe learns Dream Eater or something like that. Uh, next up is so, Venus yeah. the Weeping Bell. So if anything, if we don't find a Leaf Stone, I'll probably buy one and sell it on City. Um, it has moves Vine Whip, Sleep Powder, Wrap, and Poison Powder. And then we have Thor the Electabuzz at level 22. He's Quick Attack, Leer, and he knows Solar Beam. Shit. And then we have Delicious <laughs> the Slowpoke because Slowpoke Tails are delicious, but I haven't been training him up. He's at level 9. He's got Confusion and Hypnosis. Yeah, you, you could sell his tail for a million dollars in Johto. I could. I'm, uh, you know, when we get to Johto, I might have to uh, <laughs> port him over and get that done. <laughs> So get that million bucks. I am ready to go if you are. All right. I'm going to give us our little countdown here. You ready? All right. Let's uh, make sure we have a timer going this time. Yep. I've got it right here. I've got it right here. All right. Three, dos, un, go. All right. Already in a battle. Already tried to use the running shoes that don't exist. We're off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Battling this preschooler. Right. He's got a Nidorino. And that gym went really well for me. Uh, I didn't hardly take any damage, actually, so I should be good. Yeah, I'm good to just start moving on. That does a lot of damage. Uh... That was funny, actually. I remember because um, that Lieutenant Surge actually had a Raichu. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, and he couldn't touch my Graveler. I'm hoping I get through Lieutenant Surge just as fast. I know, I think when I did Pokemon Fire Red, it took me forever to finish the puzzle like it was almost like a whole episode dude that's the most frustrating puzzle in the world because there's no way you can actually figure it out it's literally like by chance yeah like there's no speed run strats there no it's super frustrating i spent half the episode trying to get through there i mean you still got it pretty quick i mean i, I guarantee it's it's gonna take me at least five minutes <laughs> at least yeah it, it took it took me like i want to say like a good four or five tries to get through there but I made it. We're here. We out here. We're doing the thing. So uh, I forgot that Smeagol learned Rock Throw, so that's pretty good. Mm. So when I went and got my water, I actually put one of those uh, little Crystal Light packets in it. It's a raspberry green tea. I now. love, I love Crystal Light. Yeah, I take Sorry, those with me ahead. to. Uh, I take those with me to work. So yeah, it uh, definitely changes up the the water. Oh, I should have swapped Pokemon. I did not pay attention. And I was watching the episodes back, uh, and I remember you got the old rod in Vermilion City, so I'm going to make sure I pick mm -hmm. that up and get an encounter. Yeah, although you got to remember, it's not all that, like, great, simply because uh, the fact that it's always going to be a Magikarp, so it's always going to be the same Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, it could be a Pokemon I don't have, though. Like, what if it's a that's level 5 that's how I, that That's how I got my Graveler. That's how I got Smeagol here. Uh, how many Pokeballs do I have? I have six. I'm going to go buy some more. 
Polyrath is double slapping the shit out of my Moltres. And if it's something I don't really need, um, I'm probably just oh gonna my God, dip out on what? it. I hate. Oh, that's. Oh. <laughs> mm, yeah, I agree. Yeah, dude. So, okay, this guy. So he used hypnosis, right? Put my Moltres to sleep. Two turns, I tried to wake up naturally, and it didn't happen. So I, the third turn, I used an awakening. On that turn, he just so happened to use hypnosis again, <laughs> and he hit. So I used another awakening, and then he used hypnosis again. I'm like, you used hypnosis two turns in a row? He's just pro playing you. And this time, I used it, and he didn't hypnosis me. Instead, he used body slam and then paralyzed me. Jesus. Trick Fudo for a Geodude. I'm not going to make that trade, ma'am. This guy's trainer class was developer, so he may be hacking. Mm. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put him past it. He does look kind of shifty. Did you make sure to pick up your uh, rare candy at the Pokemon Club? Uh, Probably not. I don't know if it's randomized or not, uh, or if it's still a rare candy. I'm about to find out. Oh, never mind. You don't oh, get a rare candy. Randomized. That's the... Uh, that's just in general. Yeah, that's down in Fuchsia City, isn't it? Mm, maybe. I was thinking Are of... behind the Strength Rock? That may be what I was thinking of, but I definitely just got the bike voucher, so... Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot I gotta go back for the bike. Crap. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now, so I don't forget. And then I'll come back and get my encounter. Because I feel, I feel like that's the best play for me, because I, I gotta start picking up the pace. You're already in Vermilion, and you're catching up. Yeah. Um, I know, I think in the last episode you beat the gym leader, so I still gotta do SSAN. Yeah, I ended. Yeah, I still gotta do SSAN, so. That's true. It's alright. It's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna maintain this lead, but I'm a little bit upset that I have to go back and get the bike. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it could Hang be on, worse. Let me, let me just backtrack a city here real quick. I mean, I probably shouldn't have said anything, because then I could have just used it to my advantage. <laughs> you wanna be that guy. Yeah, we, we haven't gotten to that level yet. <laughs> Give it a generation or two. We'll get there. <laughs> yeah, that's no joke. Oh, that's a bike voucher. Here you go. Ooh. All right, so I need to move this bike to the front up here. Let's see. Can I get an item? Give me an item. You'll probably hear all those button clicks. No, Whoops. okay. I know no cycling's allowed here. Just, just nope. swap. There we go. I don't know why that was so difficult. Ugh. Run! I forgot Run, you can't forest. register your items in this game. I know. That's really unfortunate, but that's such a like an innovative thing that they added in future generations and newer games. I agree, hundred percent. I was just like talking. I was talking about innovative stuff earlier. Um, I was talking about Netflix and how they added the uh, skip intro feature. Yes. That's my favorite thing about Netflix <laughs> now. Jesus, how about that? Bless you. Yeah, I think this uh, new puppy we got is kicking up my allergies a little bit. He's got longer hair than our other dog, so... <laughs> yeah, puppies will do that. Also, uh, another great thing that they added in later generations was the ability to just click the A button on trees and be like, oh, do you want to cut this? Oh, yeah, yes, no joke. Same, I do want to cut that. Same with everything. Yeah. Like, of like, course I would How did to you that. know that was my intention? <laughs> uh, Alright. Get this old rod, get this encounter. If it's something good, I may switch out um, and get rid of Delicious because I'm not really using him. He's just kind of on the team hanging out enjoying the sunlight. Yeah, I mean, he's just out here doing, he's, he's living his best life, all right? Right. <laughs> and in the last episode, uh, I did drop first... off my uh, Dragonair at the, um, oh. whatchamacallit, the daycare man. So I'm going to, once we get to like the Elite Four, and it's a Dratini that we hooked. Now he's, oh, well, that's, Stoops class. Species. Species, whatever. I mean, unless you want a whole army of Dragonites, you can ah, go full I mean, lands. Now, is it always going to be Dratini? It should be, because if I remember correctly in first gen, it's always a Magikarp with the old rod. It's true. I might have to wait until I get, like, the good rod or something. Yeah, I think it's always yeah. going to be Dratini. God damn it. Yeah, that's why I'm pretty sure mine's always going to be a Graveler. <laughs> Alright, um, well, looks like no encounter there, then. 
but I can go. No, but to... you can just leave it and you can save it until you get the good rod. That's true. Um, I can go to Dickless Cave as well and to the route right of Vermilion. So I think I'm going to do that before I go on the SSN. Might as well go all the way through the Diglett's Cave. Hope and, hope and pray you get that level 28. Yo, trio. it's a Rapidash at level 15. That's not bad. No, but I mean, are you going to replace Lava Boy? No, but a Rapidash is still pretty powerful because if it knows Stomp... Yeah, it'll, it will know Stomp. All right, I'm going to switch out to Lava Boy, actually. Yeah, because I mean, I mean, Rapidash. Lava Boy's kind of saved your bacon a couple times. He has. <laughs> no, I, d I definitely love Lava Boy. I mean, he doesn't learn anything until like level 30 something, so. That's true. Whereas Rapidash should have a decent level up move pool, I think. Yeah, because it evolves unless normally it's at level 40. Ooh, I almost killed it. Yeah, unless it's Ponyta that learns all the moves. I don't know, I'll have to look that up in between episodes. Uh, Pokeball, go. <laughs> oh boy, Smeagol just learned self-destruct. Oh yeah, that'll come in handy. <laughs> just in those emergency big red button situations. Oh, come on. I think I'm going to switch out to S Delicious here and put him to sleep. I need a better water move than Clamp. Like, it's a good move, but its accuracy is just straight doo-doo butter. Hmm. I uh, I still don't even have a Pokemon with a water move. Like, I have Seal, but I don't think he learns anything for a while. I don't really remember. Yeah. Alright, we got the Rapidash. We just destroyed that Charmeleon. Come here, my noble steed. Huzzah! Oh, crap. This Gambler always gets me. The Scrambler? Like like the fair ride? No, no gambler. Oh. Like the trainer class game. You know the guy with the dice cup. Oh okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, let's see what else we could get in Diglett's Cave. I'm probably gonna put Rapidash on the team. Yo, I could have got a fucking Mewtwo. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> and now I can't escape. Oh, this Mewtwo is gonna wreck you. He about he about killed. Uh, he's good. He's gonna have psychic. He about killed my seal. He's swift. <laughs> he's disabled. I'm just trying to run away. All right, I got away. <laughs> you better be careful getting out of that cave. I have repels. <laughs> repels not gonna help you against a level twenty eight Mewtwo. Oh, there's Vaporeon in here too. That would have been some really good bulk for you. It really would have been. Uh, let me see. Let me put a higher level Pokemon in front. So now the only way. Yeah, you ever notice how how the sprite, the Gen One sprite, like he's always just got this huge grin on his face. Oh yeah, he's so happy. Yeah, just all the time. I know I can get some items down here too. Oh, I don't have cut yet. Damn it. Oh, I can't get the item finder. Sad. Uh, that means I can't get Flash, and I can't go get those items. Polyworld, nope. want to trade one for Venusaur? You know what? If I find a Polyworld, I will come trade it for that Venusaur. Oh, 110%. Oh, I can't go this way. Crap. Alright. Uh, I forgot I'm supposed to go through I don't Dark know King, why I went though. here already, because I'm going to have to come back, so I can go back and get the old Amber and get Flash and those HMs down there. Or the TM. I mean, I don't really need Flash, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's it's more of a an ease of use kind of thing. Because but... I've got the, uh, um, what fucking cave is that called? The uh, dark cave. Is it? I don't think it's called the dark cave, or the la rock yeah, tunnel. Is what it's called. Oh, rock tunnel. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've got that sorry, memorized. My bad. So I I know I can get through there. <laughs> you guys can yeah. probably hear my dog barking. I've gone outside. through there many many times. Oh, how's the puppy doing, by the way? He's doing all right. He likes to the, take things outside. The world outside. wants to know. Um, we've discovered Does that he? he likes to pick up random things and take them outside. I oh shit. Oh yeah. Okay, we were alive. 
I tried to run with my Ghastly and this uh, Mewtwo used Confusion. About killed me. Ooh. And now the Mewtwo's using Psychic. How did you not die? I don't know. I don't know either. Like, there's literally no oh, reason that Ghastly on. should ever live any sort of Psychic attack from a Mewtwo. It, it did. <laughs> it did, uh, 30 damage, though, so... But yeah, the puppy likes to take things outside, uh, mainly socks and stuff like that. <laughs> so I, I found like two pairs of socks outside today. <laughs> That's adorable. It's getting ridiculous. I need to get out of this cave. Can't escape. Use psychic, uh, of course. Okay. I'm glad I landed that because I realized I could have used Aurora Beam and it would have done just as well. Instead, I went for the oh move that it could miss. Oh my god. Oh yeah? Yeah. I, uh... <laughs> might be in some trouble here. I keep running dun, into wild Mewtwo's. Dun, 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 dun. I should just use Repel to get out of this cave. Like, yeah. he did his... I thought, used... I thought that's what we agreed you were going to do. Okay, Delicious died. <laughs> This is not good. Well, he's not making it to Johto. No. He's he's not making it to the sequel. Um I could have just hit no. Here's what I gotta do. I gotta heal up so I don't actually I accidentally die. Yo, you wanna borrow my self destructing graveler real you, quick? I need to, because this Mewtwo keeps using psychic. <laughs> and like he's level eighteen. I just can't it won't let me escape. Just run away. Come on. Thank God. Don't disable my rock throw. Okay. Whew. And like I kept just running into wild Pokemon every five steps, so we're gonna go. Uh, yeah. Put Delicious in the PC or PC and release him, and then we'll get out Rapidash. Press F in the chat, please. For yes, press F to pay respects. Because you used a Psychic and just completely body my Slowpoke, Slowpoke and it was <laughs> I'm like, okay, it's not very effective. We probably got a chance of surviving. I mean, it's not like I was really using him or anything, anyways. Oh, dude. Guess how much experience my Graveler just gained by killing this Wigglytuff. None. 420. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, delicious. Goodbye, delicious. There we May go. No one steal Land that tail. fire spin. Alright, we're gonna add, uh... Rapidash there. Rapidapidapidapidapidash. Now the thing is, okay, he's asleep. Bam. I gotta, I gotta come up with a miracle here. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't see. Might just wait until I get like fly and then go to Peter City and get the old amber instead of having to go all the way back. That's good. That's what, that's what I'm doing. Yo, I just found holy crap. You, that's you him for guillotine. Crap? Oh, guillotine. Oh my god. Pick up some... When somebody learns that, get some X accuracies and you're just... It's broken. <laughs> on top, back on the Once I get to Celadon, I'm pretty sure I can buy X accuracies. Alright, I'm going over here to this route. Uh, I'm going to battle this trainer first. I probably need to battle these trainers for the XP. Yeah. But, I mean, honestly, I could skip them. But I feel like there's really no point. What level's your highest Pokemon? 23, I think. Mm, might cut it kind of close with Surge. Yeah, I think what's 25, 24? Uh, I don't remember, to be honest Scott with you. Shot. And we're paralyzed. Yo, Sand Slash is kind of scary looking in this game. Yo, he is though. Just like, just like slightly terrifying. Like, have you ever seen the movie Nightbreed? I have not. So it's like this uh, horror movie that came out. I can't remember if it's late '80s or early '90s, but um, great movie. But there's this one monster. She looks like a like like a hedgehog monster lady or whatever. So she's got like spines growing out of her head that are all pointed. That's what Sand Slash looks like. So it, it's basically like Sonic the Hedgehog, but like Halloween version. Kinda, yeah. But it's weird because she's also like oddly hot at the same time. Oh, I feel like I need to it's, see this it's, movie now. 
It's a it's a really good movie. Like if you like horror movies or like slasher movies at all, it's super good. I mean, those kind of movies are okay. Paranormal movies, I do not enjoy. I feel that I um you're like who was I talking to? Uh, Danny um from uh, YT Great Gaming. Mm-hmm. Uh, that he feels the exact same way. Like he likes old slasher movies and stuff, but he doesn't like you know anything that has to do with like ghosts or uh, possession or anything like oh, that. Oh yeah, that shit freaks me out. So the only there I've in my entire life I've only ever found one movie that I cannot just sit down and watch all the way through, and that's The Exorcist. Mm, yeah, I've um, I've seen those before. I, I don't. So this is a new encounter. Um, just the just the first one, um, like the one that came out, and I, I want to say it was okay, like seventy three or something like that. And I don't know why that movie just terrifies me. Uh, so my first encounter here is a Grimer. I feel like Pinsir definitely learns guillotine. Uh, actually, I don't know if he learns that by level up or not. I'm going to find out like between it. episodes, because if I catch his pincer and he can learn guillotine, I'm going to bring him on the team. He knows vice grip. <laughs> you would think that he would get that by level up for sure, but I couldn't tell you 100%. So I caught the Grimer. Alright, I'm about to try to start throwing poke balls at this pincer. And I mean, if anything, I, I might have to see what's going to be best, too, because... I don't know if it's going to be worth leveling up all six Pokemon. Yeah, I feel you. I just named my Grimer Puddles. Ooh. I named my uh, my Rapidash Huzzah. I don't think we need, like, really need Cut anymore, do we? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. I'm going to keep this Farfetch'd on the team until I catch something else. I mean, you need it to get, like, it, going though, towards the Lavender, or the Rock Tunnel. But other than that, oh, you need it, I think, to get to the Celadon City Gym. Oh, you're right. Come on, just. I think Pinsir's right. got a high catch rate too. Um. <laughs> oh well, I thought I had this place memorized. He just keeps you. I think all he knows is Vice Grip because that's all he keeps going for. Oh, my God. Yeah. He keeps getting crits too. He's like. I don't know why I didn't switch out to Nappy in the first place, because my script can't hit him. Uh, definitely should not leave my Graveler in against this here star you. Alright, I'm just going to throw a couple more Pokeballs, because uh, if, if I don't catch this guy, then... Uh... Alright, I caught him. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to name this... Uh, Pinsir Tintamon. Like from Digimon. I think we got about five minutes left. Five minutes. Five minutes left. Uh, okay. If I remember right. correctly, I need to. Go I have made down like to... literally no progress in this episode, <laughs> which isn't good. So I, I guess I'm just gonna go battle some trainers though. and then I'll get SSN and Lieutenant Surge done in the next one. Yeah. I might just have to uh, skip some okay. trainers here, because otherwise I'm gonna get super far behind. It's okay, I'm gonna end up getting lost in Rock Tunnel. I thought I had it memorized, but apparently I haven't played this in forever. So, no, don't disable that. You suck. Why do you have an Alakazam? Oh, there's Kangaskhan in this route too. Kangaskhan would have been pretty decent. There we go. Land that twin needle. Destroy this Alakazam. Get wrecked, Doctor Strange. Rest in peace, Doctor Strange. <laughs> I miss you. That's what happens when you can't protect the time stone. I know. So unfortunate. <laughs> he tried, though. He, he literally gave his life trying. It was such a good movie, too. Don't you, I need to go don't see you it lower my accuracy? Yeah, it was such a good movie. I still need to see Deadpool 2. Oh, that's so good. I, Yeah, I might see it while I'm gone. So, so good. Alright. Oh, All right. you need to stop it with the sand oh, damn attack. It. I thought it was a leaf stone. I about freaked out. <laughs> about lost my goddamn mind. <laughs> Up in her? <laughs> Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Oh, that's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Okay, it's not that bad. What? <sighs> 
I gotta put somebody else. Like, it, I'm gonna put Rapidash in the front because there's Jolteon just spam sand attack until I swap out to uh, my freaking Moltres, and then the same turn I do, it starts using Thunder Shock. I'm like, come on, man. Is there an item over here? Maybe not. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to self destruct on this Jolteon. Alright. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go ahead and start by towards the, the SSN. I'm skipping all those trainers on that route. <laughs> so I feel like I'm, I can. If anything, I can battle him before I get to Lieutenant Surge. There we go. Get that Jolteon out of my face. Uh, wait, do I battle this guy? I'm gonna battle everybody on the SSN, though. battle every one of them yeah i think there's only maybe like six or seven trainers total maybe on the ssn and he's Something got a mute like <laughs> all right <laughs> okay oh this is my you switch uh, i'm gonna well, throw out a tail whip here and i'm gonna switch out i messed up you messed up yeah i completely forgot about the whole idea of catching pokemon so I ran away from a bunch of Pokemon here in Rock Tunnel. Oh. And what, what was the first one you encountered? I don't even remember. I was gonna see how like, salty that's you how, would be. <laughs> that's how far away from like catching Pokemon my mind was. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a potion here, and in case you use psychic, body slam me, just like, to see how much it's gonna like do. Like you know me. All right, use the sable. You dis oh, I disabled Solar Beam. You dick. <laughs> You gonna, son of a bitch. And he's a psychic. I draw Pokemon when I'm home. Sounds like a fun time. Okay, he got a crit on that psychic and it did like 50 damage. <laughs> so, I mean, that's not terrible. Because, I mean, he's hopefully not going to get a crit every time. Nah. I mean, Mewtwo's aren't exactly slow. No, they're definitely not. <laughs> Alright, he's a swift. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and um, heal up okay. again. Oh wow! And now he uses psychic. There's one shot at that parasect with Peck. I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of this battle. I don't know why I used a potion there. I should have used. All right, he used to say, "Well, that's fine." All right, he's going for psychic. If this crits, I'm gonna lose Thor. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't. It did not. Fingers oh. crossed. Oh, there's the timer. Alright, I am still in a battle with this right. Mewtwo. Oh, I'm gonna save my game right here. Alright, disabled no more. Quick attack. He lives on 1 HP. And now he's gonna disable quick attack. And now I'm gonna use Solar Beam. Oh, and now we're disabled no more. <laughs> Alright, we should... Oh man, you got a crit with Swift. Alright, we well, beat the Mewtwo. I think he's got one more Pokemon, though. It's a Hitmonlee. I'll switch out to Nappy because this thing can't touch it. Can't touch this. So one good thing about having Nappy, but if I keep running into Mewtwo's, it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, it's not gonna be a good because time. like even though the Mewtwo's like six seven levels under me, it's still just like taking out like half my Pokemon's HP easily. Yeah. All right, I beat the Hitmonlee. Nappy Grove is level twenty four, so he's definitely gonna evolve in the next episode. Definitely, without a doubt. Yeah. Unless I just don't use him or he dies, so. But. I don't know. Fingers crossed. I'm out of the battle. I've saved my game. All right. Um, any final words Calgon, for the people? Calgon, take us away. What? what? Huh? What did you say? You don't remember that those commercials? Wait, wait, I, I didn't. Calgon, take me away. I can't say I do. They're like old school like soap commercials. Yeah, you know. Guess I'm showing my age. Yeah, maybe. Just a little bit. <laughs> I mean, you're only a couple years older than me, so I, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, it's just too busy well, playing have video you, games. Okay, so have you seen the movie Wayne's World? Yeah, of course. Well, he makes a he makes a joke about it in Wayne's World. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. I don't think I ever like saw those commercials otherwise. So, 
<laughs> but all right um uh, we're gonna get out of here i hope you guys enjoyed episode number 12 um uh, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe if you aren't already make sure you go check out all the links down in the description below as well and we'll see you guys in episode 13 peace bye